isolation to create a community that is large and diverse. One or two very young addicts in a meeting make the meeting feel safe for the next young person who walks in, and so on. We learn that what once felt like a reason to isolate is actually one more reason why it's important that we're here. We are each uniquely qualified to carry the message to the addict who sees him or herself in us. Living clean of decision at WSC 2012. Chapter 2. The Ties That Bind. 27. We never know what will make someone feel a connection with us. When we sense a connection based on our shared disease and shared recovery, the ways in which we differ from one another become enriching rather than limiting. As we meet more people, attend conventions and events out of town, and connect with other members in service or online, our circle and non grows, and we find people who share our experience. But more surprisingly, we find people who share our feelings, and even our sense of connection and disconnection, where we might never have thought to look for them. When we share our experience honestly, give others the opportunity to relate to us and connect with us in spite of any service differences. When we do the work of helping people get clean, something changes inside us. We discover the magic, the gift, when we see the light come on in someone's eyes. We learn to get out of our self-obsession. So many of our solutions are in service. As long as we keep coming back, the addict we reach out to in a moment of need may well be the person who saves our life later. There's a lot to be said for old fashioned 12 step work. We can get confused and limit our outreach to members we know who have relapsed. We can be fearful of new people we don't know. Perhaps there is reason to be cautious. We're dangerous when we're using. We alibi out of caring by saying that we are making amends to ourselves. I don't need all that drama in my life. But when we protect ourselves from the newcomer, we don't defend our lives from drama. We deprive ourselves of the opportunity to witness the miracle. Sometimes what a new person needs most is just not to be alone. Simply allowing someone to be with us as we go about our lives can be priceless. We teach one another how to reach out. Just because someone did it first doesn't mean that we automatically know how to reach out to someone new. Bringing a sponsee along on a 12-step call gives them an opportunity to learn, and keeps us from trying to do that alone. We learn to be in the presence of great pain without taking it in or taking it on. We feel deeply and experience our emotions at great extremes. We dive into life face first or hide under the covers, afraid to move. The price of growth for many of us is the awakening of more feelings than we know how to live with. It takes courage and humility to keep from shutting down again. Often, after the fact, we recognize that our negative thinking had cascaded. Perhaps we started with allowing a resentment to fester, and found gradually that we were less honest. Withholding the truth gave way to lying, and then sharing got harder, and so forth, until we found ourselves dealing with the consequences of a whole lot of bad behavior. Addiction and recovery are both progressive. We are very rarely standing still. We are almost always either getting better or getting sicker. We define ourselves by our choices. The decision to have a family means leaving behind the independence we knew before. The decision not to have a family means that we must find other ways to feel connected to people, and so on.
Tradition 7 tells us that everything has a price regardless of intent, and we find the profound truth in that as we move forward in our lives and our recovery. Every choice we make, good and bad, means there are options we left behind. We can get lost in infinite webs of, what if, as we start thinking about our lives. Step warns us about getting caught in the binge of emotional sorrow that living clean approval draft for decision at WSC 2012. 28. In result, we come to see ourselves not as we were but as we are becoming. Not helps us to live with the consequences and the benefits of our transformation. Starting over in our lives with new people, places, and things, stepping into a new way of life we don't quite understand. The desire to survive and feel fulfilled is not unique to us as addicts, but in recovery we begin with connection to others and work our way to basic safety. And perhaps it has to be this way. To believe that we can trust the love in our lives is challenging. Those really deep needs are the ones we believe won't be met. It begins with the immense process, the understanding that we can forgive and be forgiven, that we can take responsibility for our actions and make better choices. Although our destinations may be different, our journeys are very similar. Through many different identities before we find self-acceptance. We propel ourselves by using the tools we all share. When we are derailed, we end up in much the same.